Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Chainlink. This is going to be a lower time frame video. We do have a higher time frame video up above, so check that out if you haven't already. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so before we jump into the low degree count here, what we are going to talk about is a couple of the higher time frame ideas. So one of the ideas that we're looking for is that we are looking still as a five wave structure, looking to push us down towards this 460 to this 368 region. Now, if this is the case, the way I would be looking at this move currently is that we are forming a diagonal pattern here. Now, the reason why this is a lower confidence move is because it would be an expanding diagonal if this is the case where this is wave one, two, three, four. And what we'd need to see here is that this wave five would actually have to be longer than this point here of this $4.59. Now, what we'd want to see here is effectively forming a five wave move, getting three waves back to the upside and then seeing continuation down looking to push us down into this bottom trend line once again. Now, we don't have to move all the way down to the trend line. We just have to move deeper than this 459. So that would be our target if we are looking at this idea of a push down in this as a five wave move. Now, what we'd want to see here in the lower degree is actually if we come in here, we'd want to see this actually develop as a nice clean five wave structure. And the way I'm currently looking at this is that internally we have this as one, two, one, two here. And then looking at this as three, four, and five. Now, for as long as we hold below this level here of this $6.66, the likelihood that is higher than that we will actually see this fifth wave playing out to the downside. Now, the target area for this fifth wave would be here towards this 547 to this 518 level. Now, if we do see price looking to continue to push down in this way, what I would then be looking for is actually confirmation by taking this X wave low and moving into this target box area. We'd want to see a nice clean five wave structure looking to push us down into this zone. From that point, it's going to be crucial what happens if we do move down into our green target box area here. We'd be looking for three waves back to the upside, looking at this 651 to this 587 as additional resistance again before looking for another push to the downside here to this 517 to this 488. Now, this would only be the first part of this move if it does look to play out in this way. And what we'd be then looking for is the potential that this move here is actually a we then see a move back to the upside here, looking to target out the zone of the 757 to the 653 before looking for continuation again down here to this 414 level. And if we throw this on, we can see here that this would actually look to take us past this 459 zone. So depending on how high we come here, it would adjust the target slightly, but the idea would remain the same. Within this idea, we'd be looking for a zigzag to the downside, looking to complete this as a potential diagonal. Now, the other way that we can discuss this idea here is that within the structure here, we could actually be looking for something like this, where we actually we have this as a bigger W, X, Y, X, and a Z. Now, the minimum requirement here is this $4 and 4. The Z wave we'd be looking for, 1 to 1, would be here towards this 236. Now, within this idea, what we'd actually be saying is that we could still be looking for a potential push to the upside one more time here. Now, within this idea, what we'd be then saying is that internally here, what we have is a W and X and a Y. Now, we have actually moved up to this area of this one to one, but depending on how we want to count this move up here, it is possible that this Y could actually still be in play here, where what we're going to see here is that we get this as A, this is B, and then we still see another push to the upside here, looking to actually test out some of these higher ranges here of this 858 to this 1232 region. Now there are some highs in this range that would be quite interesting to see how we react around this $9.50. And then if we do look to push up slightly higher here, we do have some areas that I'll be keeping an eye here towards this 1144 and towards this 1382 here of this 1073, which could be quite interesting if we do see another leg to the upside. Now within this idea, what this would be saying is that Instead of this being one, two, one, two here, what we could have is that this is just A, B, and C. And then we could look for a reversal up. So it's going to be key whether we manage to maintain these highs here or whether we actually continue to follow that idea of that breakdown where, like I said, this 666 is going to be our key level that we don't really want to move above there. Moving above 696 would actually invalidate this idea of this being one, two, three, and then looking at this as a fourth wave. So if we do start to see price looking to push up here, this could align with this idea. Now, within this idea, what we'd be looking for would be something along these lines. So if we come back down here into the smaller time frame, 
the way you would have to look at this move then is that this would be one, two, three, this would be fourth, one, two, three, four, and five, extension in the fifth wave here for an A wave, and then effectively what we'd be looking for is the possibility that this is a B wave to the downside here, and then looking for a push to the upside. Now, this would be valid for as long as we hold this 477 region, and really what I'd want to see here is this low now hold. It is possible that we could argue that internally here we could still see another push to the downside, but if we do get that additional push down here, the likelihood is then that we have this as one, two, three, four, and five, and then it's going to actually look to invalidate this idea of this being a B wave. If we do, however, continue to hold this low here and we start to see price looking to react more impulsively to the upside here, what we could actually see is the possibility of a push up towards this 10.03 which would align with this move still becoming A, B, and C, looking to push us up here. Now, we also have to bear in mind that if this moves past 14.27, this would align more with the idea that this is actually 1, 2, 3. Then we'd be looking for three waves down for a 4 and a 5 to the upside, which would mean that we could potentially be trending from this point, but it could also just be that this move would then become a C wave where effectively we have this as A, B, and then we see this as a C wave, and then we still look for that possibility of a breakdown at a later point. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. Um, there is a target box up area up in the zone, which has some daily, weekly, and monthly naked points of control between this 1428 to this 1120 region. So I am going to be keeping an eye on this if we do see price starting to get a bit excited to the upside. This could align with something like this playing out where we see price moving up into this higher target box here before actually seeing that break to the downside. But like I said, invalidation of this comes by crossing this 477. Coming in here and having a look at the daily CPR lines, we can see that our daily CPR lines are continuing to print higher CPR lines. Well, this is a bullish sign here, but we need to bear in mind that the underlying trend is still down here. We still have a lower high um, than the previous high there before us. Now, this is a good sign. If we continue to see price actually holding this S1 line here of this 616, we could potentially continue to see price reacting to the upside. Now, if we do continue to hold these central lines, which are sitting between the 621 to this 627, we could potentially come back up and retest this 638 level, which we've already hit today. Other targets to the upside for today would be 647, 660, and 668 as potential upside targets for today if we do continue to hold these lines. If we start to lose these lines and this S1 line here at the 616, other targets to the downside would be 602, 594, and this 580 as potential downside targets for today. Now moving over here and having a look at the weekly CPR lines, what we can see is that we did print a lower CPR line here, but price has actually rejected this idea and actually pushed to the upside. So these are quite tightly spread, which is indicating volatility. We have moved up and already hit our R1 line here at this 633. So if we do see price continuing to push to the upside here, I would be looking to see if we get an interaction again with this. This could turn into resistance. Other targets to the upside for this week would be 664 and this 693 as potential upside targets. Now moving back down here, if we do start to see price looking to fall away here, we start to form some structure to the downside. We could still find support here at the 604 to this 602 region, in which case we could potentially still look to find support here before continuation up. If however we start to lose these central lines, targets to the downside for this week would be 572, 543, and this 512 as potential downside targets for this week. Now moving over here and having a look at the monthly CPR lines. So what we can see here is that these are quite widely spread here. So these could be actually indicating that we could see some range trading going on here. Now we do also have our central lines of the previous month, which are higher up here. So we printed lower lines. We are still, however, above the previous S1 line. So this is a good sign. Now, if we are looking at this idea here, where we could see continuation up. What I would want to see is us continuing to hold this level of the 616, and then we would want to see price moving back up here and reclaiming the 648 and the 678. Any kind of a move up here in a corrective fashion could align out that idea of that continuation to the downside, where we have this as a correction, and we still look to break to the downside here. If we start to reclaim these levels, targets to the upside for this month is the 872 and this 
955 as possible upside targets for this month now if we do look at our downside targets if we start to lose these central lines and we can start to reject down what we do have is 504 we have 422 and this 281 is potential downside targets for this month so that would align more with the idea of this move continuing to break down here where this becomes one two three four and five we'll be watching this area if we do start to break down in a fifth wave alternatively if we do start to see a bigger rally to the upside we could see some interactions with these levels and then it's going to be important what happens three wave structure down could indicate continuation up five wave structure down could indicate that we are continuing this move to the downside okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video leave us some feedback down below and also in the description you will find a link to the discord come check it out it is free to join everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care